your needs. Now, what are the, there are three types of them, the home office, the cloud kitchen office, and also the retail location. For the sake of what we're gonna be talking about throughout this whole entire course, we're gonna be focusing on home offices only. And what does that mean? That means you can have the ability to sell on Instagram, to sell online, to also sign up for delivery apps, but we're not gonna be catering to dine in. If you're thinking about dine in, let's say the retail location specifically, or creating a restaurant, then we have another more advanced course, which is called the Professional Restaurant Owners Academy. So if you're interested in that, leave us a note and we'll send you a link to that. Now, the three different types of structures, home office, you're gonna be running your food concept from your home. You can sell online, there's gonna be delivery apps depending on the different location and the city you're in, but there won't be any dine-in as a service. Virtual kitchen and cloud kitchen. This is much more of a newer concept, which are basically professional food preparation and cooking facility that you can rent out on a hourly basis or weekly basis. Um, so you don't own anything, you just rent their facility. This also caters to online and also delivery uh, apps as well, but also don't have dine in. And the next up are retail locations, okay? So why is it important for us to understand and choose the different business structure that we're gonna go and commit to? Because we need to be able to choose the most suitable business structure that allows you to plan out and shape your business that best suits your lifestyle. Because once again, if I don't choose something that fits my needs, then it's not gonna work out and it defeats the whole purpose of me even creating a business. That's the reason why it is so, so important. Now, how do we do that? How do we decide? Are we destined to build a restaurant or should I just be creating my business from home? We analyze the six characteristics which I'm gonna be sharing with you right now. And once you understand this different, six different types of characteristics, then you can go and decide which one is best suiting for yourself. First up, volume. How much can you produce? So for example, my friend at, in Seattle, his name is Mark Kenless. On a daily basis, his fine dining restaurant, one of the top restaurants in Seattle, actually in the world, they serve more than 1,500 units per day. So clearly we cannot serve that type of volume in your home office. And that's the reason why you need to consider the different volumes that you're pushing out and what your expectations would be. Location, is the location that you have convenient for your customers or your delivery drivers? So for example, if you're in a tall high rise building, would your delivery driver be able to come up to your building and is there gonna be ample parking in, uh, available? And that all takes into account of whether you should be renting a cloud or virtual kitchen or not, or even have your own restaurant. Commitment, how much time are you willing to spend in this business? Do you have a nine to five job? and that you wanna just create something on the side as a side hustle income? Or do you want to quit and take the plunge into the business world and just completely risk it all? Your commitment matters and the, the, the different types of business structure plays along into that as well. Earning potential, how much money are you wanting to make from this side gig, from this business opportunity? Are you planning to earn a few thousand dollars or are you looking into earning tens of thousands of dollars. So this all plays into the different types of structure. Investment, how much money do you currently have to invest in this food idea of yours? Food delivery app, which delivery apps are applicable in your specific city? So having and understanding the different types of characteristics which I just shared with you allows you to understand which type of business you should go for. Now, as in a granular idea and a granular look, into what is necessary. We're gonna dive into a diagram very shortly, but the last thing that I do wanna share with you is the legality. What does that mean? That means that whether you have a home office, cloud kitchen, or retail location, you need to have your legalities right. So what does that mean? That means that you need to have your business license, you need to have your business name, the business insurance, and a food safe sanitation plan for basically all the different operations. And once again, I'm not here to dictate whether you can continue on creating your business or not, whether you have your license or your insurance or your safety plan. My job and my obligation is to tell you that you need these items. However, having said that, a lot of people I, and I know they don't have the business license, they don't have business insurance that they, and yet they still operate their own business. It is completely up to you 
but I have legal obligation, a legal obligation to tell you guys this is something that you need to ensure that you don't sue my ass later on. Okay, so we're going to dive a little bit deeper into the legality in the next lesson. But as I was saying, um, these are the six different characteristics that shows you whether you should be investing in a home office, a virtual kitchen, or a retail location. And this helps manage your expectation. So as we go through this, as a home office location, your volume is much lower than a retail location, let's say if you have a restaurant, okay? Location, basically you have no choice if you're working from home. Um, Commitment-wise, five to 10 hours per week if it's gonna be your side hustle, or if you're gonna be fully plunging your time into it, it's gonna be a full time if you have your own retail location. The earning potential for your Instagram business, for your home office would be roughly a thousand plus. Uh, I'm not saying that people haven't made tens of thousands of dollars working from their home, but I'm just sharing with you, typically speaking, what do I see uh, of my other students and how much they make? I wanna be able to manage your expectations, right? Legality, for any businesses that you run, you need to make sure that you inquire with your city permits and your city officials. Food delivery apps, depending on the city and de depending on the country that you're in, some of them are actually come to your house and pick up food from your home. But a lot of other places do not cater to home office uh, structures. Um, so definitely just inquire with these different apps, call them, right? Investment, if you wanna create your home office structure, it's gonna take around a thousand to a few thousand dollars, whereas retail location, a restaurant, we're talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars. So looking at this graph, you're gonna be able to see the different types of characteristics that is associated with each of the structure. 